Let's talk about the Dunning-Kruger effect. It explains why incompetent people display a disproportionate amount of confidence in their own abilities. David Dunning and Justin Kruger got into this subject after a robbery in Pittsburgh went horribly wrong in 1995. But more about that later. Dunning and Kruger did studies with three groups of students. They tested them on grammar, on humor, and on logics. And what they found really blew their mind because right after the test, they asked people to rate themselves compared to how they did to the other people. So the people who did super low on all subjects, they rated themselves as super high. Which means they thought of themselves as doing much better than the rest. And then they checked out the students who actually did super well. So the high scorers. And what they found surprised them even more because they rated themselves as average. And this, my friends, is the Dunning-Kruger effect. Let me show you in a graph. Vertical axis, horizontal one. Competence versus confidence. Here the competence is super high, here it's super low, and the confidence same way. Now what they find every single time, and this has been replicated numerous times, what they always find is if somebody is highly incompetent, they not, hardly know anything, they display the highest amount of confidence. And as people learn more, their confidence drops. And only when they become an expert does it grow again. How is this possible? Now, when you begin at something, you learn a wee bit about it. And let's say it's photography or it could be basketball, it could be a skill or knowledge, anything. You know a little bit about it. And when you find out a little bit about something, you also discover some things that you don't know yet. So there's an area where you know that you don't know. This area. So I only know a tiny bit. That means I only know a tiny bit of things that I don't know yet. So if somebody asks me here, Shana, how competent are you? I know 90% of everything that I think there is to know. So I'm going to show enormous confidence. Now let's look at another one. Let's say I've studied for four years in basketball or photography or whatever. So I know heaps, lots. But as I found out all this stuff, I also found out more things that I don't know yet. Books I haven't read, studies I haven't done. I know a lot that I don't know. And this area is way bigger than with the beginner. So if somebody who studied for four years asks me, how confident am I? I'm going to know lots of things that I don't know yet. So I'm going to show less confidence. And that's how that works. So this, my friends, is the Dunning-Kruger effect. And it's been studied a lot. And one of the studies I like a lot is when Americans were asks, asked to rate their own ability to drive. 88% of the Americans said, I'm better than the average driver. Now, if you think about this and you think about math, you know that that can't be true. So the question then becomes, is this a matter of ego? You know, am I like arrogant? No, the answer is no, unfortunately. But of course, with some people it can be ego, but with most people it isn't. And with most people, it is just a Dunning-Kruger effect. You know very little. That's why you also are not hindered by things you don't know yet. Whereas people who've studied something, they know lots of things that they don't know yet. So they're going to be more humble. But what did that robbery in 1995 have to do with it? Well, MacArthur Wheeler had robbed two banks in Pittsburgh in broad daylight. And he was so confident, he even smiled at the security cameras and waved at them as he left the bank. Now, of course, police started to study the footage and they found it's this guy. They went to his house, rang his doorbell and arrested him. And MacArthur Wheeler said, how is this possible? How did you find me? And the police said, well, we looked at the cameras and, you know, we saw you. And he said, no, it can't be. I was wearing the juice. 
apparently MacArthur Wheeler had found that you can make use lemon juice to create invisible ink. And not hindered by any extra knowledge, he thought if he rubbed his face in lemon juice, he would be invisible. And his confidence was that high that when they caught, got him into the police station, they showed him the footage of himself waving at the camera and he said that they had doctored the material. That's how confident this guy was. And when Dunning and Kruger found out about that, they th thought, you know, let's study the relationship between confidence and incompetence. And that's why they found the Dunning-Kruger effect. Now, how can you use that in your own life? Well, of course, when you started something, just know you have, you have no idea of what you're talking about. So make sure you learn a lot so that you discover lots of things that you don't know yet. And also be careful when people speak with high confidence, because if somebody says to you, vaccines cause autism, don't believe them. They sound like they're sitting over here. And when somebody says, well, we are pretty confident that autism is not caused by vaccines. This sounds like somebody who studied for it and who's humble about it and who knows that they don't know a whole lot. It sounds so doubtful that it's probably true. Thank you and keep on learning. And this was my first video using this light board. Was I hindered by the Dunning-Kruger effect? You betcha, check out the bloopers. Whereas with, whereas with, <coughs> whereas with some, <coughs> can't speak, can't speak, oh, 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 then 